is this path in a while, I'm pretty sure. All right, we are off once again. And, uh, well, they're off. Job, as are pretty much all the ones I've Oh, that's slippery. Oh, that's slippery. What is going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here. We just got dressed, and uh, we're ready for another day. February 2nd. So let's go ahead and check out what we got. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of the last day of the winter here, and we still got snow on the ground, which is pretty wild. Um, I was kind of expecting it to be gone, but it's still minus 7 out there, and uh, looks like it might start warming up, but not really. Um, so who knows if the snow is going to stick around, and that it looks like we kind of got a bunch of rain on the forecast going into the spring. So is what it is, but uh, that's okay. We have some other stuff on the agenda. Our cattle is looking pretty good for now. Of course, we did take care of those last night, but uh, for now, I think we're just pretty much good to go to head right back on up. We are going to get, uh, I think, a logging trailer as well sent up here that uh, we will probably just have to order from our phone or something like that. And uh, then, whoa, that's a slipper. We haven't used this path in a while. I'm pretty sure it's all covered over with grass, but it looks the same in the snow either way. But yeah, we will get a logging truck sent up um, and you know maybe even just the low loader um, completely empty and we can get another piece of machinery brought up because I think we got to maybe organize our logs before we get to that stage. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. They'll probably head out right away and we'll uh, definitely beat them there. But uh, yeah, that should be good. Save us a little bit of time. And it's such a lovely morning right now with the sun coming up. All right, well, we made it up here. And um, I think, yeah, we'll just check our phone real quick on the new shop app that uh, I haven't really used it too much more of a analog guy you know just go over to my office but uh, you know it comes in handy and it looks like that Bergman is no longer here that trailer but um, this is interesting I think this is roughly similar to the same size that we have now so no interest in that we kind of just got a new corn header for the one we do have so I think we're good there but um, yeah looking at some other equipment for today um, probably will need a trailer of some sort I don't know if we want to get this per se um, you know something like this it will obviously it would be really useful but I think um, you know we want to transport things back to and from pretty quickly so um, we'll probably end up using trucks for that so I was thinking just something like this uh, we can kind of push everything around and pick up some logs get them organized and see how it goes I'm curious to see how it goes to be honest it looks like there are some different options and you know if we still have all of this snow up here it might be worth it to uh, have these on and even if we don't it's still really useful for getting over logs and stuff like that so I think that is what we're going with same with our fuel I think we're fine without changing it and uh, yeah, um, don't want to buy that. We're just shy of being able to, actually. Um, I suppose without the wheel options, we would be able to. But yeah, we'll just lease it. 10,000. There we go. Um, I, I didn't even check how many hours we put on our machine yesterday, but I'm sure we did take a cost for that. So the shop can get that brought up here, and we'll clear-cut trees, I guess, until, uh, until they arrive. All right, we are off once again. Get it all lit up. And, uh, oh, I guess we didn't actually fold it yesterday, because we're going to keep using it. So, we'll keep this dangly boy out, and, uh, yeah, probably try and cut a little bit more off this backside. Who knows? I don't know. I don't think the truck is going to take very long to get here, and uh, we'll swap out our machinery. We did lease another piece of um, equipment, so that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that, but for now... We can enjoy the sunrise and get a couple more trees cut.
Well, for some reason, our last one, we made a little goof on, but uh, I think I saw our truck driving by there. That's all right, we'll manually get this one done. We did bring out the chainsaw. I anticipated we'd have to do a lot more of this because uh, I didn't think we would be able to use that machine so well. But uh, alas, we did. Um, all right, we'll make a cut on it as well. Somewhere like that. But I think we're gonna go swap out machines. So we're gonna hop in this guy and uh, get him folded up. Bring him on back down. That was uh, quite the adventure. I enjoyed that. This was a great, uh, like I would love to buy this. It's a great piece of machinery. So I will take it, but uh, we're gonna swap out to another one now and see how it does. Hopefully it is just as enjoyable. I would definitely love to buy one of these if uh, we get enough money in the future, but for now, leasing it's probably the way to go. I didn't want to commit to anything too crazy big off the start. Um, definitely a whole new realm of equipment for us that we don't know how to repair and uh, maintain just yet. So if we can lease it until we kind of figure it out, I think that's the way to go. Yeah, this is another uh, seemingly equally impressive piece of kit right there. You'll love to see it. Wow, that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, we'll get it unloaded, swap these vehicles out, and uh, they can head back down to the shop and return this bad boy for us. And uh, they might have to make another trip up here at some point. We will see. But uh, for now, we'll try and get all these trees organized. Oh, this is kind of an interesting. How you say it? You're almost sideways. I guess you can see both directions. I wouldn't be surprised if this chair swiveled as well. Nice big tires. No problem rolling off there. And this seems like, yeah, it's articulated, so something I suppose we'll be getting used to. You know, if, uh, if it's not with a tractor, it's with this big unit. Basically a tractor, just different purpose. This will be missed until, uh, I suppose, the next time Next time we use it, we still have more forest to cut down, and I don't see a reason why we wouldn't use this guy again in the future. You know, he did wonderful for us. So, something like that looks to be pretty good. And, uh, yeah, we can send it off. We'll get it loaded up nice for them. Maybe even turn their truck around, you know, be a good guy. Let them go down the super icy hill themselves, but, uh, yeah, we'll turn the truck around. So nice of us. And, uh, well, they're off. We're off. He was just in the outhouse and he saw me driving away with his truck. And he was kind of confused for a hot minute there, but, uh, what can you do? Yeah, um, but anyways, we'll probably get, I think, two log trailers at minimum. Um, that way we can have one of them up here, like we can load them both up, of course, but uh, one of them can be hauling back down while we load up another, and uh, maybe even a third, who knows, but for now, I guess uh, we should do the manly thing and try and use this before we uh, bust out the instruction manual and realize that we don't know what we're doing. So, looks like that's a nice big claw for us there, that's awesome and pretty standard up and down. I'm sure it does spin maybe as well. Looks like, yeah, we can just get it to go up and down there without changing the entire angle. I'm not sure what the use of both are, but we will figure it out. And then this has got to be able to spin somehow you'd think too. Otherwise, the logs are just, I mean, maybe that's what this guard is for? Who knows? All right, after a little bit of playing around, we figured out how to rotate our chair. So, uh, awesome. Now, this is uh, forward, so we're kind of focused on our grapple, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, we did figure out the uh, rotation is actually, you can lock it and unlock it. So that's useful. I think, I wonder if, yeah, it looks like you can actually lock it in a different position so this orientation might be best but I think yeah if we keep this extended out and then we mostly go up and down with this 
um, might be the way to go. Um, oh, still remembering what all the keys are, but uh, this is, oh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely pick up a lot with this guy, but this is going to be interesting, and uh, we'll probably just try our best to, uh, I guess this is as high as we can raise him up, but uh, yeah, we'll probably just try our best to organize him. Hopefully this snow um, can go away. Actually, hey, I guess if we turn off our grapple rotation there, we gotta we gotta memorize all these new controls, but that's all right. Then we can just rotate stuff and uh, get them kind of organized a little bit easier. Wonderful. So I mean that's arguably worse, but uh, you know. Yeah, this is going to be a big job, and, uh, you know, I think the sooner we can get some logging trucks up here, the better, because then, um, I mean, we can, if we can get almost, like, full loads packed up together, I think that'd be pretty, pretty useful, so we're going to try our best to, uh, scoop up pretty much full loads at a time, if we can, and, uh, bring it over to another one and continue on. Might have some stragglers here or there, but uh, for the most part, we should be all right.
Well, I think it's about time we got some lunch. That was a lot of work. That took so much time. That's probably one of the biggest jobs we've ever done. Um, but I think it was worth it getting everything organized now. We can pretty much just focus on getting it all out of here and transporting it away, which is awesome. Um, we still will use that machine. I'm hoping it able to get stuff loaded up. Uh, the reach doesn't seem like it's going to be high enough, to be honest. But uh, if it's not, that might be a problem. We might need to get a big wheel loader or something like that out here. I don't know if... Um, yeah, I mean, that'd probably have to be the play. But for now, I think we're good to go. These All, all these log piles are looking pretty good. I think we might need to plow a road... Yeah, just like a kind of dirt road, dirt pathway, if you will, up here just so that trucks have a little bit of an easier time and they can come turn around and get back down the hill, so... I think that might be the game plan. We're going to grab our sandwich from our truck and continue on. It looks like the watchtower is all the way over there. That's pretty cool. Alright. That was a good sandwich. The uh, farmhands should be on their way. I sent off both of our semi-trucks to the shop. And uh, yeah, we're going to buy a couple trailers while we're up here. Such a nice view. So I think uh, if we go into trailers here... I'm not sure... Or that forestry equipment, probably. Um, there is this, the timber runner, but um, it's got a lot of pegs, which might make it kind of difficult to load. So we're going to see what other options we have here. I, I like the lizard logger. This one should be good, um, and we are going to buy a couple of them. So I'm not really sure what color to get them. We'll probably just leave them as they are. I like the white wheels, though. But we're going to buy two of them. So almost 60 grand. One and two. And, uh, yeah, I think the farmhand should be able to just hook them up and uh, head on up over here. There is this guy, too, which could be interesting. Hopefully our machinery is uh, fine to load them up. All right, we are good to go. So yeah, two trailers up on the way, and they t certainly get a bit laggy when uh, they get in town. But once they're out of town, they seem to be all right. Um, and yeah, we're going to plow a little bit of a road, uh, just kind of a dirt pathway for them to get up the hill a little bit easier. That way they're not trudging through all the bushes and grass and stuff like that. Alright, that's looking good. It's certainly a muddy trail <laughs> now that all the snow went away, but what can you do? At least they have kind of somewhere to drive up on. And it looks like that's one of them pulling in right now, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, I guess we got two trucks to load up with two trailers as well, so that's pretty cool. We'll probably just start from the bottom. We'll maybe go up to the top after the bottom is cleared, to be honest. Uh, just because it will be kind of awkward loading on the down, and I think they'll have to go all the way back up uh, before they come back down. And there's our other truck, too. So that's pretty good. Um, we're going to turn our seat back around. That way we can use our crane attachment. And, yeah, if uh, they can't load it up, I think we'll have to get a wheel loader. So what can you do? All right, back in the saddle again moment of truth let's see how this goes uh getting stuff loaded into the truck i'm i have a weird feeling that it's not gonna be able to get up high enough you see like it's great at organizing but like yeah there's no way we're gonna be able to 
load that up as great as that would be if we could have like one side down and then put up the others that would be good but yeah this is going to be tough with this piece of kit I think uh, maybe we'll just try and grab one here oh just missed it of course all right well whatever we got we got a bundle but yeah if uh, we take it over to the truck I there's no way it's gonna be able to get up high enough oh we lost one what fun so yeah I mean would would be nice but uh, I think we're just going to be damaging stuff. So, that being said, I think a wheel loader is probably the way to go. Um, I'm hoping, if we get a big one, that it'll be able to get up high enough to get in there. So, I think this guy is uh, officially done his job, and he's done it well, if I do say so myself. So, I think... We're kind of in a little bit of a rut here, because what do we do while the shop comes and gets this and we don't have a wheel loader to get stuff done? So, hmm, I suppose we could just drive this back pretty far, but I mean, it's uh, that's going to be quite the job. Um, but you know what? Maybe we can get the shop to come up here and we'll drive them and we'll meet them somewhere halfway. That could, uh, that could work. All right, well, little, little change of plans. It's uh, just about four o'clock and we decided uh, we're just gonna rip back down to the ranch. We do have a couple trucks, two of them coming up from the shop. So we might actually pass them on the way down. I'm not sure, but uh, depends if we're quick or not. But I am kind of trying to just race the clock a little bit and figured in this downtime, the shop's coming up here with some new equipment for us. Uh, let's try and get back to the ranch and just maybe feed the cows, make sure they're good to go, and uh, maybe just top up the water, something like that. And by the time we are done, um, our equipment should be there. So that's awesome. Doesn't look like they've made it over hey that might be one of them right now actually which is awesome so yeah we definitely got down here pretty quickly that is our new that's our new piece of unit uh, it is just leased and it's just a big loader that's just what we decided to go with instead of a wheel loader it's just a big John Deere loader it's basically an excavator um, on a trailer there so that's kind of cool but uh, yeah I'm not sure if it can run independently or not. If not, we'll, well, you know what, even if it can, we're probably going to have to have a truck attached to it to move it around, which will leave us again with just kind of two trailers, one to load up and uh, one that can be sent running back and forth. So we'll fill up our water nice and quick. Thankfully, we're ready to go there. And uh, you know what, while that's going on, we're just going to jump in the tractor and unload the mixer. Thankfully, I think it's full, almost full, as well. Come on, door! Fire her up, and let her rip, Randy. Alright, alright, I suppose we should do a little bit more. May as well fill it up. Looks like we've gone through all the materials we've had set out for them right now, but that's not too much of a worry. I was considering letting it run dry and uh, just moving, you know, reorientating the building. It shouldn't be too big of a job. Um, it's, you know, it's nothing is like too set in the ground and it's mostly just a prefab building. So once it runs dry, I think I might do that because now that all the snow's gone, we have pretty, we got a lot of field work to get to. Uh, so we even got a stone picker that we probably should start running pretty soon, but all that will come next month, um, as well as getting 
a massive open range here for our cattle so that'll be really good and we're gonna really upgrade that so that's awesome we've got a lot more in the works but i think just having this shifted so we don't have to awkwardly turn in and out of here um, and we can kind of just drive straight under it will be the way to go so i'm looking forward to that and what else comes in the future so i think this should be pretty topped up by now Oh yeah, and uh, we will continue on. It's all in the name of expansion, just like our manure is absolutely piling up and hoping to get to a point where we can maybe even use some of that for fertilizer as well as our slurry, but uh, we do have a fair bit of both. And I suppose we could just sell stuff to the biomass if we needed to. All right, well, they didn't really take too much of that last load, which is awesome, awesome possum. Nice and quick for us. Truck is still running. We will unhitch and probably just head right on back up to the forest. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how things are coming along. It's definitely been uh, some long days, long tiring days, lots of big jobs, lots of work. But it's, I hopefully, well, think it's going to be worth it. We don't have any planks in the work just yet. And we've spent an insane amount of money getting everything going. We had over 1.2 million dollars yesterday <laughs> which is wild and uh we're just over a hundred thousand at the moment we yeah 125 something like that no i think they might need a little tug all right he's good he was just a little bit stuck but uh we're just gonna actually go for the pass before he gets going up this big hill that should be so much easier for them to uh get up now that it's not super snowy so that's good and if that low loader trailer is coming up uh, that means our other one is probably already up here which is great so we can get that probably just unhooked and send him back empty handed I think because we'll probably end up just returning this ourselves so that is awesome and then we can get the low loader trailer ready with that guy and send him back as well so that's good i like this truck you know it seems fitting looks right all right let's see what we can do here all right we've just got everything up here and uh we do need a truck to run this guy so we do have our one trailer here and the other one just beside us i'm hoping we can get this one filled up with uh this load here and just kind of move on and move over. That's the game plan while this guy makes trips to and from the lumber mill or the sawmill, I guess, that we now own. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know what? I think I might move this truck up just a little bit. First time using all this stuff. I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to go about it. So, I don't know, I think I don't want to go too far, but something like that should be fine. And yeah, unfortunately the truck has to be running too, um, so it's going to be kind of noisy. And uh, well, a big long job, as are pretty much all the ones up here, but we're starting to get the hang of it, so hopefully this won't take us too, too long to load everything up and uh, we saved a bunch of time by stacking this morning. Um, at least that's kind of the game plan I'm hoping. So we'll see what we can do here. Looks like this thing can lift a fair amount of weight, which is nice because we got a lot of weight on here. But yeah, I think this was definitely the game plan, especially considering we couldn't use our other John Deere guy to uh, load stuff up. It's just not tall enough. Um, we needed to get this guy to load. So thankfully everything is all stacked up. Otherwise it would be quite the pain getting it all in here. So hopefully it shouldn't take us as long as uh, our other jobs this morning. As long as we can try not to break anything we should be just fine
Oh my god. Wow. Wow, that's just unfortunate. Good thing we had some of them strapped up, but like, come on, Randy, you gotta be more careful than that. Such a lovely sunset. Just running down the hill to go grab the other truck, and I'm only just realizing now I left the truck lights on. Here's our other one. He's made it. I don't know why he didn't come all the way up the hill, but uh, that's all right. Maybe he had to go use the outhouse. We'll get this guy bringing back one more load for sure, and uh, probably that might be it, honestly, um, for this guy and the third trailer that we load up. Well, we will probably just bring back ourselves, um, or we could get, uh, I think actually the other farmhand, one of the guys is lurking around here somewhere. He might be able to bring that back for us, who knows, but uh, yeah, I think the big machinery is going to stay up here, so that's kind of cool. Um, where should we park this one next? This is a pretty big pile, so I think if we could get next to it will be just dandy. Um, try and avoid that stump, and of course we went right into it. You know what I... Th oh, there's another stump. This place is Stump City. I mean, what did you expect, right? But... Well, that's not quite what I had in mind, but it, it should be fine, honestly. Hopefully. We'll get this other one good to go and send it off. Well, yeah, we have a lot more trees. We've only scratched the surface of everything that we've done up here. And I mean, I guess to be fair, we did spend half a month cutting stuff down and uh, a good portion of today organizing everything, you know, so it is a lot of wood. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Definitely want to try and stick to our pathway if we can. We'll get it nice and down off the hill for him and uh, then he can go on back to the sawmill. It's so dark it's hard to see our path. I don't even know if we are on it still. Oh, that's slippery. Oh, that's slippery. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not good. How are we gonna fix that? Well, we done goofed. Um, yeah, we might have to get something out here to flip this back. For us up there, I mean, we, we could we did the other trailer, no problem with our little crane, but um, this one's fully loaded, and uh, it's in kind of an awkward spot. So yeah, oops. I mean, slippery mud hill. What can you do, right? Hopefully, it's dried up a little bit next month, but uh, yeah, right now it's not it. I tried to save it. Oh man, that was rough. Well. We'll get one more trailer loaded up, and, uh, yeah, that's gonna have to be it. I mean, I'm surprised that's the first big blunder, to be fair. I mean, look how much we've gotten done. All right. This is kind of interesting. I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly just yet the best way to orientate everything, but... That's having a fit. I think it's on the log. And that seems to be a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, we'll give this a shot and see how she goes. Definitely getting into the evening. Yeah, I think I saw the moon up there. She is. Oh, yeah, this pile is not stacked the neatest, but what can you do, right?
round two, descending the hill. Um, let's try not to crash both of our semis, because that would not be great. Pretty much just letting it roll down in sixth gear here. Just, just roll. I don't want to give it any more gas than it needs. Especially coming up to this last wanna break a little bit. That seems to be a little bit better. All right, I feel like we can punch it now. We have made it back safely. You'll love to see it. All right, well, unfortunately, that happened. So that's going to have to stay there for this evening. But um, it's all good. Thankfully, I was the one that crashed it. I'm okay. Um, no one else got injured. I didn't get injured, just my pride and my driving ability. Otherwise, we're just fine. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's about 8.30, so... I think it's time that uh, we start to call it a day because we got a lot more work ahead of us tomorrow um, and in the coming months as far as field work goes. So we're going to scoot on by him as he makes his way down to the sawmill and uh, we're probably just going to meet him there, make sure everything is all good and uh, I was hoping to put the fleet away but uh, I don't think that's going to happen considering one truck completely fell, you know what I'm saying. All right, we made it back. It's been a long day. Well-deserved rest ahead of us for sure. So let's check out what we got. Just those two trips and we're about two thirds full. Looks like we can maybe hold 100,000 liters or so, maybe a little bit more. So that's good. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll activate it, that way it's running. And planks yes um yeah they're distributing so that's awesome and then i suppose our carpentry i wonder if it'll go to both hopefully um this is our carpentry there and our empty pallet production it says boards but you gotta think planks and boards yeah those are the same um so yeah we'll activate those so we're gonna be going through a lot of uh, a lot of planks, honestly. So it's good that we have this guy to make. Hopefully it can keep up with the demand. If not, we might need a second one. But, um, you know, I think that is something we could afford if it really came down to that. It's just a matter of if, uh, if we're allowed to build on here or not, you know. Um, but one other interesting thing I was kind of checking out before... We head on back to the ranch. Um, I was talking to the old owners, and he was saying um, there is a big front loader that they do use around here. So it's kind of just, you know, all the property, you know, all the, all the buildings on the property, rather, kind of share it. And uh, this is its shed that uh, they usually kind of keep it in. So there she goes. Look at a nice big Volvo, actually, which is kind of cool. Nice. You love to see it. I guess that's what the guys down here have been using to unload all the trucks. I guess that makes sense. Nice big log fork on there. I suppose it's probably a lot easier to carry them when they're off the truck. Coming off the truck, rather. You can kind of just scoop up underneath and get going. So that's cool. I'm Hopefully we can get to use that sometime. and That might even come in handy trying to get our truck unflippy tomorrow because, of course, we do actually have a third load of wood to bring down here. It's just dark we kind of I maybe crashed our truck so is what it is as far as that goes but uh, yeah we are gonna rip on back back to the ranch um, I suppose since we're on this side of town we may as well go this direction and yeah we are gonna be keeping that big loader because it's gonna come in really handy for us um, I suppose maybe we could use that wheel loader instead if uh, we could get away with stealing that every now and again. But, uh, yeah, no, that could be it. I, I mean, I guess I suppose they need it to unload down here, so it wouldn't really work. But, yeah, maybe we could use it to unflip our truck. Who knows? If not, we might need some other sort of excavator or crane or something to do that. But we'll figure it out another day. I think uh, we are going to get to our field work and uh, whatnot 
tomorrow because it's been a long time coming. We had that stone picker ready to rock, and now we actually own it, so that's cool. We got it on sale, which is awesome, so we can probably get going on that tomorrow um, as well as I would love to get some slurry put down on that guy as well. That would be pretty awesome too. Uh, as well as adding on some more cows, you know, that open cow pasture would be great. So that might be an early morning job uh, tomorrow and getting some cows in there and moving, transferring over the cows and cattle and just organizing all those guys. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. L lots on the agenda still. I feel like our chickens probably could uh, use some food who knows we will have a peak tomorrow but uh, yeah we got some new tractors as well which is super duper exciting so I'm excited to get in those guys and get some field work done and uh, yes <laughs> that's pretty much gonna be it I did uh, let the farmhand one of them come bring the truck back for us so that's super nice of them and it looks like they did a little organizing and left the lights on for us too Oh, we'll get this guy parked in here. This is a welcome addition, honestly. I quite like this truck. It, it's a heck of a lot smaller than this one, honestly. When you look at them both, like, comparing, you know, you can tell that's the 150. But honestly, it's a great size. I mean, to be fair, this is a long box and a crew cab. So, it's, uh, it is pretty massive. And it's lifted. So, but, I mean, hey, you know what? They look good. They all do pretty well. we'll. Get the lights shut off there, and then we got our old boy over here. The three, uh, the three amigos, three shades of blue. You love to see it. All right, well we'll shut these garage doors, and uh, we're gonna hit the hay. That's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing all this woodwork and forestry the last month, but uh, yeah, back to business as usual. For the next little bit but it'll be peppered in here and there so one last store check before we head off nothing too interesting all right that's gonna be it thanks so much for watching Bye bye